everybody. Thank you for tuning in to Simply Crochet. As you can see here, today's tutorial is going to be on this really, really pretty uh, washcloth. And it is a half double crochet with a going in the front loop and back loop. And it is the same on both sides. And in the video, if you follow along to the end, I did show an option where you can put a border around the washcloth. So it's just a very easy, cute little project. So let's begin. Today I am using um, this really nice um, kind of an ombre yarn. And it's the first time I'm going to try this 100% um, cotton from Hobby Lobby. And it is called Crafter's Secret. I am going to be working with this yarn uh, with a G hook. For this pattern uh, for the washcloth, I did an odd number of chains. So here are 25 chains doing a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So you will yarn over and on this since this is a finished project, we're going to do something a little bit different. I haven't shown on my channel, but we will be going and turning our chain around to the side and doing our stitch in this back loop. So you will insert your hook there, draw up a loop, three loops, yarn over, and go through all three. Again, yarn over, Turn your chain to the side. You'll see this back loop here. Yarn over and do your half double crochet. It takes a little bit, a little bit slower than just doing it the front through the front of the chain, but it will give you a more finished look on the washcloth at the bottom. And which will match up to the end of your, uh, you know, your finished project. And that way, if you decide not to do a trim around the washcloth, then it will be just, it'll look a lot nicer this way. So just continue with your half double crochets in that back loop or some prefer it as that back bump. Here's the front of your chain and here's the side and you're just going into those back loops and completing your half double crochet here. So you want to pause your video while you take your time going across to this foundation row. We've completed our foundation row of half double crochets and now you will chain one and turn your work. Now we will do a half double crochet in the first stitch right here. In the next stitch, we're going to be doing our half double crochet in the back loop. So again, let me show you this. So here, here are your stitches right here, but if you look at the top of your row, you have your V stitch here. And this is your front loop, and here is your back loop, front and back. So this pattern we're going to be alternating the, the back loop and the front loop. So on this next one, so you did the a regular, you always start with a regular half double crochet in the first stitch. In the next stitch you're going to yarn over and do a half double crochet in the back loop. Yarn over, go through three. Now in the next stitch, you will be doing a half double crochet in the front loop. So yarn over and you're only doing it in that front loop only. So if you can clearly see here, just in that one. So make sure your needle is going only in that one loop. And then yarn over and then in the back again. You want to just turn it a little, go into that back loop, and then you're just again just alternating 
your half double crochets front and back. We're at the end of this second row here and on the very last stitch, uh, whether you end it with a front loop or the back loop, I know that, you know, sometimes you'll have it differently. You'll always do a regular half double crochet at the end. You're not going either in the front or the back, you're going in both loops. So you'll be doing both loops and doing a half double crochet on the so your beginning your beginning stitch will be a half double crochet in both loops and your ending stitch of each row will be also a half double crochet in both loops okay so now we're going to turn our work so we will chain one and again your beginning stitch will be a half double crochet in both loops. So you're going into both loops there. Drawing up a loop and going through both loops. And here the first stitch will be front loop only. And then the next stitch back loop only. and then front loop. And you will continue this pattern uh, for every row, I mean for, yeah, every row, until you get the size of washcloth or dishcloth that you want. So you can just make sure that you're eyeing your, your stitches front, back, front, back, front, back, front. And you can make it out, uh, you know, when you have it right there. It's, And that's how you do it. Again, at the end of the row, you're doing a half double crochet in both loops right there. Here we are with a uh, finished washcloth. And if you wanted to just uh, bypass the uh, doing the border, then you can just fasten off your corner here and weave in the ends and then you would also do the same with your beginning uh, stitch and weave this end to your washcloth. This ended up being, uh, I know I started with 25 chains, so this ended it up being uh, six and a half by six and a half um, approximately. So again, you can make them smaller, larger, however you like. So if you'd like to continue here, I will show you how the border is done. And um, also just a, a tip here, just always keep track of your stitches from your beginning stitches and then just continue to make sure that you're always doing the number of stitches all the way to the so top. For the border here, you would chain one. And this is a little tricky on the side versus doing it at the top where you have clearly uh, clear stitches to go in here. But on the side of your work, you're pretty much just going to, um, and I'm just gonna do single crochet. Uh, you're basically just gonna find your, your spaces here and just do uh, single crochets uh, wherever you can find a space and evenly just go down the line. You'll see a hole here. And then there's some that you might have a little bit difficulty getting into, but just, you know, get your hook in there kind of evenly. So on the sides, it's always just a little bit trickier to, to get your uh, stitch, your border done. So just go into whatever holes that are visible to you, it will always look just fine. Just don't do them too close or too far apart. So as you can see here, there it looks just fine. I just kind of eyeballed the spaces that I went in. And as you can see, it looks just fine. You reach uh, the corner, you wanna do your stitch right there. 
and then chain one and then continue on the bottom with single crochets all the way down. So when you're going into your actual stitches, you wanna be going through both your loops here. That's basically it. Just always do um, that chain one on the corner. We completed all the single crochets all the way around the edges here and it just looks adorable. So uh, we are going to do is just snip this off. And then you just want to weave in your ends. What I like to do is just go one direction and then Go the opposite direction. Okay, and that's how you finish off your washcloth. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please uh, give me a thumbs up, um, share the video, and for any new viewers, please subscribe to Simply Crochet. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.